Warning, this video contains some graphic content, viewer discretion is advised. If you like shitty sci-fi horror movies from the mid-90s, then you'll probably like Genocyber. Genocyber is a shitty sci-fi horror anime series from the mid-90s. It is a five-episode long OVA, so it's comparable in length to a movie. The first three episodes coincide as one longer story, and the last two episodes... You don't really need to bother with them, they're different on their own, and Genocyber is an adaptation and an expansion on its original manga series, which was cancelled. Can't really be surprised by that because it's shitty sci-fi horror. So the original manga to Genocyber before that was cancelled was five chapters long, so it's only one volume and that's all we really have of it. The first three episodes of the anime here really expand on that. They take the basic story of this and then they blow it up over the span of three OVAs and the visuals of the anime are much more intense and graphic than the manga was so it's really no point in reading the manga you really don't get anything out of it that you don't get from watching these OVAs. So the story of the first three episodes is about a young girl and her older sister. The young girl cannot speak and she has very strong psychic abilities. Her older sister who who was mostly here to keep her in check and to bring her back. Most of her body is replaced by cybernetic implants and it's really cool but the cybernetic parts here aren't really total machines like you would find in Terminator. It's more along the lines of Giver. If you've ever seen Giver, it's more like biomechanics where it's kind of slimy with tentacles and it looks almost of alien nature. So this movie or this series of OVAs really reminded me of a mix between Akira and also a Giver, but not nearly as good as either of them. So in the first few OVAs, the younger sister escapes and then she's brought back and then she is changed into this uh, biomechanical creature that her body would rip apart and she turns into this big Giver looking creature and she's flying around the town and she is fighting a lot of these other experimental creature looking things. And there was a whole lot of gratuitous gore here when people get ripped apart. There's one girl that ripped her own boobs off. So you had this guy that was part partially android himself and the little girl imposed these feelings on him with her psychic powers it made him feel like he had bugs inside of his brain and somehow he opened his skull up there's a little door on his skull that opened up and then his fingers the skin on his fingers peeled back and it showed these robotic fingertips that were all spiky and he just started digging inside of his brain and pulling parts of his brain out and uh he died, he died from that, obviously, so, uh, yeah, it's pretty trashy. There's a lot of gratuitous gore here. You'll see intestines and people's bodies ripped in half. There's a bit of nudity as well, and, uh, it's mostly gratuitous. There's no real reason for it to be there, but the redeeming qualities of this is if you like trashy sci-fi where there's people that transform into these hideous-looking monsters, there's actually a bit of originality here with Juno Cyber in that aspect where, uh, where people transform into these very grotesque and obscene creatures and it was really cool to watch that and you see them fighting against each other and getting torn apart that was actually pretty cool and on top of that I watched this with the English dub which in my opinion is the only way to watch Geno Cyber because it was bad it was mid-90s trashy anime movie bad because that's kind of what this is and it's really funny because the actors are so monotone here you'll see somebody walk into a room and they'll see somebody getting torn to shreds and they're just like what in the fuck? <laughs> I can't even do it. It was really funny because there's so much gratuitous language here that's really used out of context. Like, what in the shit? What in the fuck? Like, all the time you hear stuff like that. And it's really funny just watching that. So, uh, Gino Saber, uh, the last two episodes of this, I felt really reduce the quality of the OVAs in fact because it tried to take itself seriously and I felt that by the end here the animation had dropped just a little bit and also uh the voice acting it was bad and really adding to this story that was trying to take itself a little bit seriously the voice acting kind of didn't really do anything for that so so in my opinion if you're gonna watch Genocyber just watch the first three don't watch the last two the last two are filler anyways because if you read the manga then you'll see that the basis of the first three stories here come from the manga the manga isn't that good either I don't really recommend reading the manga but go ahead and check out the first three episodes if you want to see gratuitous gore trash 
trashy sci-fi uh, creature looking things and uh, a lot of violence. Go ahead and check it out. Personally, I don't really get into all of this gratuitous gore that we see here, but it doesn't really do anything for me. It doesn't really... I could do without it, basically, but what I really liked about this was the grotesque, uh, uh, crazy-looking transformations that you'll see, and the fights here, that was pretty cool, too. So, anyways, if you've seen Genocyber, if you've read Genocyber, let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. <laughs> anyways, if you have any other movies or anything else you want me to recommend to watch or anything, leave me that in the comment section below as well. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, of course, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and also share if you feel like it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later.